Today I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of a web page. I know, it doesn't sound really impressive, but um, what I mean is how to take the screenshot of the whole page. Be honest, how many times have you done something like this? Yeah, well, good news is that you don't have to, and I'm going to show you how. Go to any website you want. I'm going to use this Dragon Ball wiki. And it's really long. If I would like to screenshot all of it, like pasting it together like that, it would be horrible. But what you can do is go here and open the developer tools in Chrome. And there will be some errors appearing here in the console, but don't worry about those. What we do is we go to this dot 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 here and run command. And now you can type here screenshot. When I type screen, I already see many different things here. We're interested in this capture full size screenshot. I'm going to press it. Something happened and this image downloaded here. Click it and this is what you get. A very long image with everything from that web page. Also, you can do editing in the console here. Like, for example, you could select this add section from here and maybe just click on it and delete it. And now the page is cleaner and you don't have those ads appearing there. Did the same thing as before. Run command. Full size screenshot. Took a few seconds, but then a new image is available, and this one looks like this. So that add section in the top is not there anymore. Now, if you try to do this on dynamic websites like YouTube, something funny happens. Let's go to developer tools, dot, 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 run command, screenshot, full size screenshot. Open it up, and this is what you get. The top videos are appearing here, but then everything else here is just like placeholders. So you do need to go scroll down a bit to get the content there. And remember to scroll back up, otherwise it's glitchy. Run command, screenshot, full-size screenshot. And Depending on your skills, you can actually do some editing here as well. Like maybe you want to emphasize one video for some reason, and you could do that with CSS. Let's try to emphasize this one here from Grant Sanderson. I'm going to find the video on the page, and then I'm going to inspect this element here. Any part of this would do. And then you have to go up the tree here until you select the entire element. And make sure you select a div or something that is recognized by HTML. I think this would do. And with it selected, we are going to give an outline to this. Let's say outline in the style section, we write an outline of maybe 10 pixels solid red. Okay, now this would select it there. You wouldn't need to edit the image afterwards, but you can make it much nicer. And I like to experiment with these things. So maybe we make the outline really, really big, like, I don't know, huge, like so. And what I would like it to do is actually hide all the other videos here. So this Z index should be higher. I'm going to add another style here, the Z index of something big enough so that it covers everything else on this page. But of course, now I can't see anything anymore. The idea is to not completely hide things, but make it a transparent overlay. So what you can do is set here an RGBA, e stands for red, green, blue, alpha. And you can use any color you want. I'm just going to use white. So maximum intensity of 255 for red, green, blue, like so. And alpha 
its uh, value between 0 and 1. So 0 0.5 is going to give you this level of transparency to everything else. And this one now stands out. If you want a smaller value, then you could put here something like 0 0.3. If you want a bigger value, 0 0.7 or 0 0.8. Maybe this is something that I actually like. Scroll back up to the top. Go back here, take your new screenshot. Full screen screenshot. And now we get this. Everything else is grayed out except for, well, header section. And all the videos are grayed except for this one. You can easily input two of these images, one with the enhancement and one without in some editing software and maybe make them so that you scroll down the page, do some transition, and then one is emphasized over the other. Quite easy to do after we have both these images to work with. Hope you liked this and see you guys.